Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep Stitching, episode 58. 20 plus 30 plus 2 plus 6 is 58, because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. It's another Sunday afternoon here in Southwest Ohio, and so it's time to make another video. Yes, it is. All about cross stitch. All about it. With maybe a little... You know, other news that seems yeah. related, but so yeah, it's whatever. pretty much about cross stitch. So yeah. if you don't like cross stitch, you're on the wrong channel. See ya. Okay. Uh, thanks for uh, everybody who keeps tuning in every week. We really, really appreciate it. I hope mm -hmm. we don't come across as being uh, unappreciative or blowing people off or any of that stuff because yeah. we really, really, really do appreciate really it. Do. And uh, we're enjoying it. We're enjoying uh, sharing our passion for cross stitch with uh, people all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we're glad to see the young folks uh, taking up the craft. And um, we like seeing uh, the older gals and guys as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, all ages. Yeah. Uh, if you like what you see, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. We'd appreciate a subscription and mm -hmm. make sure you ring the bell uh, so that you no are effect. alerted to every new episode. Correct. We've been around for a little over a year. Mm -hmm. We aren't going anywhere. No, ma'am. What's been going on this week, Steph? Well, uh, first, it is August. Happy August, yeah, everyone. Yeah, happy August, everybody. Um... I am so ready for it to be September and October and November. I am hot. It is hot everywhere. I hate hot. I hate, you know that on this channel we don't like to go outside. So it just makes, I mean, just even going outside to get the mail is awful. Yeah, we had to go outside today because it was massage day. Mm -hmm. So um, we right. uh, we got that in and right. uh, ran to the grocery and, and did all that. Miserable. And then hurried on back to air conditioned comfort. Miserable. Miserable. Yeah, it's terrible. So, but it was first Friday, Stitch on Night Friday. on Friday yep. at Keepsakes at yep. LNS. And on a side note, um, I feel like I've clarified this, but I just want to clarify that I am not the owner slash operator of Keepsakes. Um, I know that people, like, I work, I do work at Keepsakes. Um, I'm a part-time employee for Barbara Hills, who is the owner slash operator, along with her husband, Joe. Um, but um, a lot of, I've been getting a lot of questions and, and stuff like that personally um, that, that I don't answer. Don't because, know where that came from, but. Because I'm like, I don't operate. We want to squash that like a bug. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, if you have any questions, general questions about Keepsakes, or, hey, do you have this pattern? Right. Um that yes you can still ask me those questions right. um but if they if you want to order something um or anything like that you're welcome to call the shop i will put all the information down below for keepsakes um and yeah. um the email that you should email if you ha want to order something so um we want to be able to keep everybody straight make sure everybody gets all the things and all the stitchy things they want um right. but randomly shooting me a facebook message uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah um and so yeah so i just want to clarify about that stuff as well. And you um, normally put the phone number for the shop in the description box? Yep. So that's all you need to do. Just look in the description box mm -hmm. each week underneath the video. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, um, a click for the down arrow and you'll see everything that we uh, provide links to that we mention. Correct. And uh, so that's what you should do. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, so first Friday of the month was uh, Stitch Night at uh, Keepsakes. So we stay open late till typically about 10 o'clock um, and stitchers come and Fridays has been a gathering day anyway. So we went over early because Friday is one of my work days anyway. So we went over early and we stayed late. We were there for probably about 12 hours. Um, so it's a lot of keepsakes. A but lot it's good. of stitching. It's good. So yeah, we had good. a packed, crazy house on Friday. It was awesome. Yeah, it was actually more crowded during the day uh, yeah. before dinner until, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we usually get uh, pizza delivered mm -hmm. and um, and then the crowd kind of petered down in the evening. So yeah. I think it has a lot to do with it being summer, but also the tail end of summer <laughs> and school starting up and people are busy and taking vacays and all that kind of yeah, stuff. All the all the things. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that was Friday, and that was super fun. And then what did you do on Saturday, Pam? So Saturday, um, I knew that I uh, wanted to uh, meet up with a gal from southern Indiana. 
uh, whose name is Sharon, mm -hmm. and she'd been uh, giving me a heads up for two or three weeks or so saying that she was uh, heading to Keepsakes and would like to meet us. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Stephanie had a prior commitment on mm -hmm. Saturday, so I had to represent. And what a blast we had. Um, I went over uh, as soon as the shop opened, and it wasn't too long before Sharon and her husband Henry walked in, and we immediately hit it off. It was a blast. Mm -hmm. So, hi to Sharon, hi to Henry. I'm sorry I didn't get to meet yeah. you, but I heard it was a good time, and you're only in Indiana, so come They'll be by. Back. They will be back. Mm -hmm. We had such a nice visit with the two of them, both mm -hmm. Barbara and I. Um, I uh, I know that Sharon had immediate, you know, sensory overload the minute she walked in the front door. And those of you who've been to Keepsakes know what that's about. Mm -hmm. I left her to her own devices. She and Henry went upstairs, and um, I waited, <laughs> I waited downstairs uh, for her reaction and see what she picked out. Right. Uh, we then proceeded to look at the fabric. She wanted to kit up two or three projects. We helped her do that. Which was super fun. Mm -hmm. Henry was great, too, because Henry's getting all the lingo. He's all right. got all the acronyms down. He's getting hip I think he, we um, added one to his lexicon, which was Sal. So, oh, well, so he's, that. yeah, he's uh, been... Um, getting educated. Been educated huh? about that. And then, wonderful, wonderful, Nicole came in, Buckeye Stitcher, while they were there. Mm -hmm. She needed to floss toss on a couple of fabrics for Sal that she is going to start. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I looked at Sharon and I said, you do watch Buckeye Stitcher, don't you? And she said, oh, yeah, of course. And so it was a twofer. So that was great. And um, what we um, what we uh, got from Sharon was super fabulous. Uh, as just show little, that in a second. We're going to show that in a second. Um, I opened mine right there and I gotta say Sharon is a shopper man she hit the nail on the head and I have she never did. seen such a unique and um well, let me show it you want to show it now yeah why not oh okay so, well um, there was a card well, before we show oh. it why don't we insert the picture of oh. Sharon and mom and Barbara and Henry and Nicole yes yes here here So this is the card Mom was yep. just talking about. This is cute. Thanks for your time, effort, and great energy. Um, and you've really made an enormous positive difference. This is a really unique card. Like, I've never seen a card that says this kind of sentiment. It said the exact thing she wanted to say, yeah, I think. Yeah, perfect. And I, we really, really appreciate it. Right. Exactly. So, um, the what she gave uh, me, yep. I... Pam was nice. I brought it home Friday and, night. Yep. Oh, no, wait a minute. Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Yeah, Saturday. And so when Mom got home from the shop at like four-ish. We got home about the same time. time. Um, and I opened mine, and this was mine. Cat Maps calendar. So look at that. And it's for 2019, so it's perfect. So sorry about the glare, but um, look at that cat with the same hat on. So this is so cute. Right. I love calendars. I'm excited about this. Yeah. Um, and then I get to, cats are among the sleepiest creatures on earth. Did you know that? Now you know. The more you know. They spend 16 hours of each day in dreamland. This is so information filled. This means a seven-year-old cat has only been awake for two years of its life. This is the perfect calendar for those who are overworked and overstressed and offers visual proof of what every cat lover has always known. Cats are masters of the art of relaxation, living proof that naps are the key to contentment. Very, very true. Didn't think you were going to get story time with Steph, did you? About this earlier in the video. Where's least. the other um, okay. rolls of... They're right there. They are? Yep. Okay. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. We didn't practice. We never no, practice. We never practice. That's fine. In the bottom of this huge bag that Sharon presented me with when they came into the shop mm -hmm. were not one, but two bags, two bags. of salt water taffy. There's some chocolate. There's some brown. There's some blue. There's some um, peppermint. Don't worry, I won't eat in the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it looks like maple, mm. lighter blue, and some of a variety. Perhaps 
to maybe soften the blow of the Neko wafer factory being shut crisis. down. Crisis. 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 Neko crisis. <laughs> uh, she uh, threw in two packages of rolls of Smarties. Said the word smart. Isn't that great? I love it. So, two packages of Smarties. Love it. All right. But the best, best, best. All right. So, if you've been watching us for a minute, you know that I am a retired librarian. I'm going to eat one of these. So, I'll put it away now. Now, look at this thing. This. Come on. You know what this is. I know what it is. I know what it is. All right. So, this is a card catalog drawer depicted as a box. Mm hmm. At this point, I have no idea what's going to be inside. And I'm like, what? So, the info sheet's in there. Out comes the drawer, it's and okay. inside, I'm going to take the whole drawer wrap so you can see. Yeah. So, inside the drawer, this is the info sheet. Right. Are some dividers, okay, mm -hmm. with the alphabet on them. Right. And then. And I haven't really sorted them yet into the divider. No, yet. they're all alphabetized already. Oh, are they? Well, uh -huh. I've just messed it up. No, you didn't. Well, I'm going to pull out a little pinch full here okay. of these cards. These are original replicated card catalog cards from the Library of Congress. Mm -hmm. Now, not only that, she was a historian. History major in college. Nope, I was an English major. I mean English. I mean English. I was a history and English double major in college. Mm -hmm. These are all literary titles. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say, God, they look kind of messy and there's handwriting. That's what card catalog cards used to look like. Yeah. And so it they've got. That, it says that, like on the back, the info sheet, it says that there are 30 note cards from the Library of Congress. The original cards used to keep track of your favorite literary classics have been dusted off and reproduced in this handy note card set housed in your very own card catalog to keep forever. So these, this is where you would write a note to someone. Okay, right. they're, they're card stock. Uh -huh. Okay, and like I said, so the historical significance, the literary significance of this, the library significance of this. All the things. All the things. Mm -hmm. The envelopes. Check this. There are 30 of these. The envelopes. So cute. Where you could address it. Mm -hmm. Right? Look like the checkout cards. Mm hmm So isn't that the coolest thing ever? So cool. So, I mean, I told Sharon, I said, I, I don't know whether I can ever put one of these in the mail. I mean, I really don't. But the thought and the and the the significance of this gift, so cute, is just unbelievable. So there you go. This is from Sharon mm -hmm. in Jeffersonville, Indiana. She said yep. they can look across the Ohio and see Louisville. So right. that gives you a, a map reference of right. where mm -hmm. they hail from. They are both. Um, she and Henry are both third shifters. So when they have a day off. They, they go places, it. and right. they better come back. Just telling you. Yeah, so isn't back. this the cutest thing? So cute. Love it. I just love it. Love it. So um, we had Sharon and Henry yep. coming in on Saturday. Yep. They went down to uh, downtown Sharonville, pretty much. Uh, at least that's where we sent them. I don't know whether they ended up going there, but uh, to um, the Already Cafe for lunch. Mm -hmm. And... No sooner had they left than a delightful young lady named Megan, mm -hmm. and I don't think she's into floss tube yet. She's about mm -hmm. Steph's age. She's relocated to Cincinnati from Georgia. Georgia, and um, so she's a young stitcher. She was thrilled upon moving here to find keepsakes because, as you know, there's no just as sweet as could be and very enthusiastic. We told her all about our events and please come. And um, I think she bought a couple of things. Mm -hmm. She took a picture with Barbara, which we right. will insert here. Here. And um, if you follow Barbara uh, slash keepsakes on 
uh, Instagram, um, you'll notice that they, all the pictures are starting to kind of look the same. Um, but if you pay close attention, they're very different. So um, Barbara has been over the moon excited about the number of new customers that we've been getting uh either word of mouth or through floss tube and so she wants to make a point to take pictures with new customers that come in so that's um what that is so and speaking of the sign i had put away my stitching and was really thinking i would head back to the house mm -hmm. saturday afternoon and barbara glances out the window and she sees people that she doesn't recognize and they're taking picture of the sign out front the famous sign. The famous sign. And Barbara says, I don't think you're going home quite yet. <laughs> because nobody local would be taking a picture, picture of the sign. That's very true. And I went, are you kidding? And so, five or ten minutes later, in they come. Eileen and her husband, Alex, and her sister, Sandy, mm -hmm. from, check it, Toronto area in Ontario, Canada. Canada. Do you believe it? Canada. Canada. Now, Canada. it wasn't that long ago when we had another woman come down from Toronto. Oh, Barb. And Barbara. Yeah, yeah. Barb. And um, so it was just delightful. Mm -hmm. it was cool. Poor Alex. He, you know, he was taking pictures of us and he was going to take off while the ladies shopped and go find a golf store. Cincinnati's a very big golf area, sure. as most people know. So he was going to go kind of looking for golf stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, the ladies went upstairs, and um, I think maybe Barbara went, might have described the different rooms upstairs. Probably. And, um, but I, you know, I, I'm bad with names, so I have to consciously, you know, ask. And then I try to retain it. But I said something about, and you, I looked at Alex, and I said, and you are? And he said, gone, meaning he was going to go shopping oh. for his golf stuff. Do you think that was his name? I heard Don, D-O-N. Oh. So I kept calling him Don. Shut up. Until That's we got out on the front lawn that. by the sign, and... I said something about, Dawn, you stand over on this side. And he goes, no, it's Alex. And I said, no, 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 you're going to always be Dawn yeah, to me. Always. I don't know. He might have taken offense. I'm not sure. But sorry, Alex. Sorry, Alex. But anyway, um, we'll insert that picture of everyone in the sign here. here. Uh, I stayed for a little bit. The ladies were still upstairs. Uh, Sandy came down for a minute with a question, and Barbara said, uh, are you girls having a good time? And Sandy just turned around, and she just raised her hand. She says, oh, my God, goosebumps. Oh, cool. So I left them in heaven, mm -hmm. you know, and um, we were so thrilled. But before, they, before Alex took off, really, um, mm -hmm. they left us with... Yep, yep, um, so some charts that, with yeah they left Pam two bags with some charts yeah. in them yeah and which was so thoughtful oh my gosh so thoughtful like just stuff that they thought that we would like and I, we kept them in the bags because I didn't want to get confused because I get confused easily that's not even true but whatever um okay so the first one is this little Lizzie Kate. Snippet number S35, if the broom fits. So cute. I love them googly eyeballs. Love that. And um, two of these. What? What about the box over there? I'll get the box. Okay. Sorry. Um, sorry. And then um, this is a shepherd's bush, which is love. I like these ones. I think that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Because I like that chart. Um, the charm, not the chart. Right. Um, and then in the same series is Howl. I've never seen this one. I like this one. Mm -hmm. That's really super cute. Also from Shepherd's Bush. Um, then she had torn out some magazine patterns that she thought that I would like. And this one is called Where Are You Hiding, Kitty by Ursula Michael. That's cute. That's super cute. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Love that. And uh, then this is called Boo Moon. Um, I'm not oh, Blackberry Lane. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even notice the thing. Mm -hmm. Is it a mouse? No, it's stitched in there. I know, but is it a mouse in the moon? Yeah. Yeah, it 
Mm -hmm. Cute. Cute. I like the shading on the moon there. Mm -hmm. And then this is Witching You Were Here uh, by Frawny River Designs. Mm -hmm. so, look at that cute finish. That's, that's really, really cute. cute. That's super cute. And the pumpkin looks like a cat. Yeah, that's super so cute. So that's cute. And yep. then, and then um, some Diane Arthur's charts uh, through Imaginating. This one's called Wacky Friends. Wild Wacky Friends will always be. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's me and that's Linda Jo. Because mm -hmm. we're best friends, newsflash. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is I Need the Halo. And it says I Need the Halo to Hold Up the Horns. <laughs> so true. So true. That's really cute. Um, Very colorful. And then this is Best Friends. Best Friends! Um... And it's two, two cats. And this is a very accurate depiction of my yes, cats, actually. Yes. That's Mosey. That's Mosey. Uh-huh. She's fat. She's not. It's cute. They're best friends, too. Just like me and Linda Joe. And then this one, Mom has actually stitched for me. Um, but it's cute to see it. And it's called If Cats Could Talk by Designs by Lisa. If cats could pro talk, they'd probably lie. Very true statement. Yep. So we'll be giving this away in a future video at some yep. point. Yep. Um, since I've already switched it. So what did you get, Pam? I got a Ursula Michael. I love, love, love this. This is called Lighthouse Welcome. Isn't that colorful? Yeah, that's really Something pretty. tells me the uh, the picture on the cover does not yep. do yep. that justice. So there's yep. that. That kind of looks like those quilts that you've done. Yeah, well, that's Ursula Michael with all the quilts. Right, like, right. Yeah. Um, this one is called Give from <laughs> Shepherd's Bush. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look at yours. Well, now you're going to get to see them. Well, thank goodness for that. You I know. know. Yeah. This one I love, and this is right up everybody's oh. alley right about now. Be of good cheer. Look at that from Shepherd's Bush. It's patriotic and it's bees. It's all... Oh, my heavens. Oh, it's my cute. heavens. Isn't that cute? So cute. I love that. Yeah, love, love, love. Plus, you don't have to stitch the flag. It's just exactly. a freaking charm. It's just a freaking charm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Bed, Creek. Bed Creek Autumn Row. That's cute. Look at those pumpkins. Gotta love that. I wonder what the orange is. <laughs> Hazelnut. Hazelnut. Uh, Bent Creek Summer Row. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right up my alley. Yep. That'll take you 30 seconds, Pam. Uh, probably two or three days. That's, That's it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Same difference. Um, Here's a Diane Arthur's that is so cute. The older I get, the better I was. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I love it. And another Shepherd's Bush called Sale, which is... Yes, such that. Yeah. Isn't that cute? I love the finishing, too. I love yeah, that pillow it's form. super cute. Yeah, because we can find some really cute fabric and uh, Jan can make that into a pillow for me. Yes, we Because can. that's done on... Do, 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 do. Heatherfield. See how big right, yeah, yeah. the weave is? That's done on blue Heatherfield. Uh -huh. Stardust Heatherfield. Which is so fun. You use um, use three strands of um, of sampler uh, overdides. Mm -hmm. And um, there's one week's color yeah, in right. there. But so super quick. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, I love that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The the sisters said that they uh, were originally from Newfoundland, and I said, um, "I love Newfoundland." It, I turned one of the patterns over. I said, "Read that to me." I could listen to you talk forever. Oh, really? They were just a delight. So uh, it was a big newbie day at Keepsakes on Saturday. Mm -hmm. and, Sorry, I missed you all, but and uh, I loved meeting everybody, and of course Barbara did too. And it was just a great day. Yes. So. So there's that. Yeah. Um, and then the last little piece of uh, stuff we'll talk about before we get into what we've been stitching and stuff this week um, is StitchCon. So, um, Wednesday, August 1st, um, the first batch of invoices <laughs> went out to the first 150 people on the wait list. So, um, that's exciting. Um, and... We are not done sending out invoices. We still have about 67 free spots available. So we are going to be sending the rest of those invoices out uh, later tonight and tomorrow as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, we've 
gone through a lot of people on the wait list, so that's good. Um, and we, uh, the people that have paid and confirmed so far has been, uh, I mean, be another great stitch it's going to be amazing. You I thought nothing could top 2018. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh boy. So, um, it's going to be so exciting. And, um, as soon as you pay your invoice, you will be allowed into the Facebook group, um, which if you just go to Facebook and you search StitchCon 2019, you will find the Facebook group you have to request to join. Um, excuse me, um, and then as soon as we're able to check our records and confirm that you have paid, then you'll be allowed into the group. So um, it's, there's already been a ton of influx of new members already, and people are very excited, and it's really, really awesome. Um, and I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Katie Clark. Um, she posted and she tagged me in a post in the group and thanked me for all of my work um, sending out invoices. And um, if you've never had to send out a batch of that many invoices, um, then you well, have. Stephanie personalized each one. I sat next to her at the table during. First Friday stitch in Friday night, and she did not get one. She didn't even get her stitching out. Mm -mm. She sat there with the laptop in the corner of the table and invoiced all day into the night. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, and then as soon as the confirmation comes back that somebody paid, then I take that information, put it in my wait for it Excel spreadsheet um, on our big master list of attendees and um, then I cross reference to check the Facebook group and it's 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 a tedious process but I enjoy it I like that kind of stuff so um, and it's fun like every time we get an email that says like person a paid their invoice I get I'm like oh look who paid right. so um, you know so it's been fun but so do not be discouraged if you have not gotten an invoice yet there's still another batch to go also, everyone that came in 2018 has been invoiced as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's exciting. So, um, I have gotten a couple of messages, emails, whatever, about hotel accommodations. Um, that Those details have not been completely 100% ironed out yet. Look for that information. Close, close. Yeah, look for that information um, coming to you either in the Facebook group or on the website middle of next week um so about wednesday or so mm -hmm. um and i think we're planning or whatever um on doing a big group video with us and barbara and nicole sure. um sometime next week too so keep an eye out it will be on this channel so keep a lookout for that mm -hmm. um and it's very exciting so mm -hmm. um but it, it, it's 10 months away so, um, I said to some, I said to Barbara, Breathe, people. right. I said to Barbara on Friday, I was like, you could literally have a baby between now and when StitchCon is happening next year. So anything can happen. So even if you put your name on the wait list on today, who knows what could happen. So, um, continue to put your name on the wait list if you think you might be interested in going, um, and just be patient with us. It's, it's a process, but we like it, and we're very excited for all of you to come to Cincinnati next year. Right. So, okay. so let's talk about whips. Why not half an hour in? Why not? That's pretty so, good. Cool. So whips. I have two whips. Yep. Um, Here, give me that plastic bag. Would you see what the flim flam around with it? Um, I'm in the cell with um, Christine, Stitch All the Things. Leslie, Fat Cat Flossing. I think there's a couple of Instagrammers as well. Julie, Gulf Coast. Julie, Gulf Coast, Stitcher, Stitches. Uh, for Jeanette Douglas Designs, Patriotic Sampler. And we are having a blast, aren't we, guys? We are having a blast with this. Blasty, blast. Blasty, blasty. <clears throat> blasty, blast. I did not, however, do... <laughs> and we just watched Christine's video, so... Go watch Christine on Stitch All the Things. She just... Uh, posted her first vlog entry and <laughs> she referenced something that happened over this past week which was, was Christine posted her progress on the sale and at least one person commented it looks lovely Pam <laughs> poor Christine she um, was like I'm not Pam she handled it very well yeah. and I made sure because I actually think the person who one of the people that um misread the post um is one of our local friends but anyway um all is forgiven right but as we all know i got tons of things to stitch right right so i thought i'm just gonna do this little bit 
and then I'm going to rest a little bit so that Christine and I and perhaps the others mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. not neck and neck. This is not a speed test. It's oh, not a competition. You don't want to be neck and neck? I don't want to be neck and neck. Okay, fine. Because I want everybody to get credit for their own stitching. But and isn't if it's that confusing, the point of a stitch along is for you all to stitch it along at the same time? Yeah, but pace? there's no speed. There's well, no know, minimum. But... You people know. Whatever. You people know. No, you no. join a sow. Sometimes it's a stitch along. And it ends up being a stitch alone. Right? <laughs> I'm okay with that. But I'm they okay want to stitch with you. So I'm just going to let people get a little bit farther along so that posts are not confused. That's oh, all. Okay. So I got my Star Spangled in there. Okay. Star Spangled. Star Spangled. And there is a uh, real um, fancy, if you will, uh, star over here. Mm -hmm. If I move this down, Christine's it's gonna... finished with it. Christine worked on it, mm -hmm. and um, I need to get out a scrap and practice before I put oh, it that's on what this. Do. Yeah. yeah. So just taking a little mini vacay from this, mm -hmm. just, just, uh, just so that we're all Make not sure getting confused with each other. That's all. Okay. Uh, it's not that I don't want. I want us them. all get to get credit for our own stitching. Okay. Okay. I hope everybody understands that. Okay. okay, so that's so pretty. Patriotic. Sorry. Sorry. Patriotic sample. Uh, the hashtag is uh, JD Pat Sal. Yes. Okay. All the information is listed below. Now, the reason I picked up this other whip, which is was a pre Mania 2018 whip, uh -huh. okay, is okay. because I joined a Facebook group called Cross Stitch Barter, I think. Yeah, and search Cross Stitch Barter. Even though I can't find that post anymore, I believe someone at one time posted that she would be willing to barter a project bag for a couple of charts, which are whips of mine. Right. And so I thought, okay, I think I can finish this one up, and now I can't find the post in that Facebook group, so I'm going to have to send up the send up a message or something okay. but one of the um charts that this project bag maker was willing to barter for was little house needleworks winter abcs okay mm -hmm. la 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 okay <laughs> la, la, la. i'm doing this on 32 count vintage tundra from lakeside and i am almost done she is so, uh, we'll see if we can strike a deal. Uh, let me go yeah, like good. this. Da, 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 da. Remember this, people? Remember I had a little problem with that, whatever that whatever is in the sled? Uh, we talked about it some more at the shop Friday night, and now I think it's just a mound of snow. It is. It's That's just, just accumulated in the seat of the sled. That's what I'm saying. That's my story. I'm sticking, sticking to it. So, Do we're down have to... Do the snowmen have French knot eyes? Yes. Okay. So I'm leaving the French knots and the straight stitches till the end. Oh. And we're down to this lovely vase of paper whites at the bottom. And I will have a finish by next week for sure. Okay. And then I yeah. will try to find that lady who wanted this chart and is willing to Trade make a project. project but then. maybe she decided not to do it. But she forced me into finishing this whip. So, so thank you, random lady. So <laughs> thank you, random lady from uh, Cross Stitch Barter. Right. Exactly. Da da. Okay. You want to see my whip? So let's I work. Let's talk about your whip. Let's talk about it. Okay? Let's talk about it. So I work a lot this week at Keepsakes, um, and so I had very little stitching time, um, but that's fine. Um, is what it is. And so if you guys remember, I pulled out a mania start from last May, and I pulled it out last week and started working on it. And this is Needle Bling Designs, Hopes and Dreams. Keep your hope afloat, let your dreams set sail. And last week I had all the, what are those called? Sales. Thank you. All the sales done, and then like I'd started the ship. So, this is what I have done. Looking great. Look at these stitches. I'm pretty proud. So, 
Um, I decided to make a couple changes. Um, I uh, changed the word hopes to the red floss, which is Ladybug by Classic Colorworks. Um, and then I changed the year on the ship to 2017. Um, if you follow me in my story, you know why. And then um, also, I found a discrepancy in the chart. So, um, see this little nautical flag over here, right? See how it's got red and then white? Well, I'm not going to show you the chart, but in the chart, the white stitches are not charted. So it's, they're just, it's just blank space. Like as if there's no stitches there at all. Right. So I did it and then I was like, wait a second. Wait, 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 what? Yeah. So I had to go back and fill in the white, which is a pain because they're all half stitches. But Didn't you say you looked up the nautical alphabet? I yeah. wonder if this spells something. And I wonder if that is a representation of a letter. Um, well, I did say that nautical alphabet. Nautical. Okay, so the blue one. Let's see. In, hold, please. Um, so that is... So the checkered one is, is... N. N. This one... Is B. N, E. No, B. Oh. N, B. N, B. Uh, there's nothing with... There's with nothing that white, re resembles this. White right? with blue in the middle, no. Okay, so... She wasn't trying to, Teresa wasn't trying to spell anything. No, but maybe Teresa, I Teresa, if you watch us and you were trying to spell something, let us know. Was I, maybe I, I wish I had thought of ahead and put my initials. Well, it's too late now. You don't, you don't want to frog it all out. I, heck, heck no. That ain't happening. Because with, with my luck, well, S is, is that, with white and blue. Yeah. No, C, you're not going to yeah, redo no, it, so don't mm -hmm. bother even looking it up. Okay, fine, Pam. Okay. So, yeah, so look at my stitches. They're pretty great. This is where the Q-snap was, so. Oh, well, that'll straighten itself I gotta up with, a, with it an iron. With a good iron. Yeah. Um, and then I finished my lighthouse last night while on Skype with Linda Jo, and. I love the color of the boat itself. Yes, that is Caramel Caramel from Classic Colorworks. That's really pretty. So, I think. I don't know if it's Classic Colorworks or General. Caramel? Yep. Is... Not there. Oh, uh, classic color works. Classic color works. So, yep. Um, I love this. So, I am going to. I also made an executive decision. So, this light blue that's in this flag and on this flag right here, um, I was lucky that the flags were back stitched because they were lost on this fabric. So, all of the water is charted in that same blue. So I picked out Wavy Navy, which is the dark blue that I used in Long May She Wave that I finished I showed last week. And that's what I'm going to use as the water. Um, it looks good. I'm hoping it works. I don't, I'm not 100% confident. That Stay it, tuned next week. You'll find out. I'm not 100% confident that it will, but let's cross off. I think it will. I think it will. So yes. So I love this. This is so cute. Um, and also, I think I said last week that the pattern was 70 by 70. It's not. It's 120 by 70. And I, because I counted it and I was like, it's definitely longer than it is taller. So I knew that that was wrong. But whatever, I figured it out. See, mm -hmm. does it say stitch count 70 by 70? It does, but. Yep, but it's not. Clearly not. Clearly not. So that's my one whip. Um, so, ho yeah. hopefully I can get that done this week. That would be cool. All right. So Very now cool. we're on to. Mail call. Sorry, no bell this week. No bell. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk mail call. Yes, let's. Okay, so I have to show this story before I lose it. So, oh yeah. Um, okay, so our finisher Jan, she has like a cornucopia of charms and buttons and pins and zipper pulls stuff and that she has at her house for finishing. Yeah, and she found this charm at her house and brought it to me on Friday. And yes, it says shut the front door. And it's a door. So I don't know what in hell I'm going to put this on. But there is like a little hoop at the top. So I might be able to hook it onto a zipper pull or onto Some place where you're not going to lose it because okay. that is one of a kind. Okay. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. We love Jan. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. So, um, okay. And then um, I got an email or message or whatever from Amy over at Amy Loves Totes. Hi, Amy. Um, and she, ha if you watch her channel, you know that she has stitched and finished the entire Frosty Forest collection from Country Cottage New Yorks, and she offered to send me all the parts. And because I think I mentioned in a video that I was looking for them, and she was like, "I'll be happy to send them to you." And we were like, "Oh my God, you're amazing! Thank you so much." So, um, she sent us this nice note with this really, 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 I won't show you the note, but like, look at how cute that is. Hi, Steph and Pam. Look at that little raccoon. He's so cute. So, thank you, Amy, for the very, very sweet note. Um, and I will go through these really quickly because I'm sure that you probably have all seen them, but I'm going to show them anyway because Amy sent them to me. That's right. So, this is Frosty Four. This is Snowy Foxes. In, and she's highlighted some of these charts, but I could care less. This is Snowy Deer. This is Snowy Reindeer. Uh, Snow Girl's Cottage. That's me. Mm -hmm. um, Snowman's Cottage. Uh, Snowy Friends. Look at all them nuts. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones. Raccoon Cabin. I love that because I like that raccoon. Bluebird Cabin. And I really like the owl button. You see that owl button? It's so cute. And then the middle block, Frosty Forest. So, uh, thank you, Amy. Um, so sweet of you. So generous of you. Um, I cannot wait to stitch these. Um, I do want to do them all in one big piece. I do know that much. Um, I don't know how I want to lay them out. I don't know any of that stuff yet, but I will get them stitched, I promise. Um, okay, and then I got a message from um, Susie Wilson in Mattoon, Illinois. And she had a couple of Val stuff charts that I uh, have had on my wish list for a while. And they are part of the Four Seasons. Kitty's Four Seasons. Kitty's Four Seasons. But they say crust. Oh, it's just Val. Uh -huh. But they're, they're Val stuff. So this is the autumn. Isn't that cute? I'm dead on the floor. I love that cat. And then this is Kitty's Four Seasons winter which is stupid cute yeah love the mittens love i like the scarf on that guy look at his really long carrot nose he's too. not a creepy snowman either no nope, he's a very happy jolly one so so thank you Susie. very sweet of you appreciate that um and then the one and only jen who is a local stitcher she um saw a she knows how much i like my set so straight and she had this is a cross stitch and needlework summer 2015 issue magazine and she gave it to me for this gorgeous satsuma street that's called pretty perch look at those i love those colors i like everything about that i think it's friggin stupendous and then this really awesome article about jody rice and her designs and satsuma street stuff so very cool thank you jen um and one day when I was over the shop, someone brought over uh, a stack of charts that they'd stitched and they wanted to pass the stash. And so I grabbed this heart and hand uh, up because if you watch our videos at all, you know how much I love my heart and hand. And this is called Perfect Snowman. This has been on my wish list forever. I love this. And it says, In Search of the Perfect Snowman. Love this. Love, love, love the plaid. Oh my God. I like the straight stitches that are on the scarf mm -hmm. here. Like, that's adorable. Mm -hmm. And whoever, Heart and Hand, the trilogy, Bent Creek, who, and Twisted Threads, whoever they use as their model stitcher is friggin' stellar. Well, it probably says. We tried, to look, we tried to look it up. Really? Who are we? Me and you. Who the model stitcher was? Yeah. 
Oh, please. Mm-hmm. It doesn't say anywhere. Well, nowhere. Maybe it's Cecilia herself. What do I know? It's awfully cute. It's just awfully cute. So cute. Love that. Yeah. And then uh, I was over at Keepsakes working one day, per usual, and Lynn went to go get the mail, and there was a package addressed to me. <laughs> it was Keepsakes Care of, or Stephanie Care of Keepsakes. Whatever. So um, the woman would like to remain anonymous, um, but she is our northern, what, how did she put it? Um... A stitcher from southwestern Ontario. So there you go. We get all the Ontario. We love, love Canadian. Nice two-page long, handwritten letter, which was amazing. Put the put your hands on here. And I just have to show you that she had these stamps on it. They'd say, "I love counted." Where do I get that? I want that stamp for all my mail. I don't care if it's going to a stitcher or not. And I think that can be arranged. Okay, and then she sent that for you, but so show them that. Oh, okay. So this lovely um, DMC book. It's from DMC. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, you uh, the Seaside. Letter. Look at all these. It's a little seaside motifs. Seaside motifs. I mean. Every, oh, all those penguins. Look at the penguins and the Eskimos. I'm dead. And the polar bears. And oh, look. my God. Oh, I guess that's a chart, but whatever. Whatever, it's cute. Oh, look. Put it on a bag. Oh, my put God. it on a bag. Oh, my God. That's cute. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Wait, wait, Whales. wait, wait. Whales and, oh, there's some, you know, beachy. Nautical-ish. And, um, um. It's cute. Yeah. So That's a, a really lot good of book. cute little seaside puffin, puffin, look, puffin, puffin, dead. puffin, dead. Yeah, not so, dead puffins, but wonderful, like wonderful, wonderful resource. Yeah, that's a legit good book for right. smalls, things like that. Correct. Um, and then she gave me shocker two cat patterns. Um, she there was like. Um, a woman who passed away, and, and this was her stuff, and they tried to sell it, and um, but she picked out a couple of things for us, and so this is the one that she gave me. This is from the American School of Needlework, and it's Cross Stitch Cats. So there's those four on the front, and then there's two, four, six on the back. Very cute. Mm -hmm. And um, then this, which is super cool, so this is from Denmark. It's a Denmark, a Danish, right? I think so. Okay. It's a Danish kit. And I was very confused, I will say. At first, I was very confused. <laughs> because I thought the cover, I was like, are all of these patterns no. in here? No. And then I finally realized that this is not all that's in here. All that's in here is the one with the red dot next to it, which is that cat. This guy. But look at the other ones they have. So, a bunch of cats and... These clowns. Eva things. Rosenstan. And then these Danish ones. quality at its best. Danish quality. There you go. So, yep. So, Eva Rosenstan. Danish quality at its best. So, this is the full kit. I haven't even opened this. Because I waited for the video. Is it? Oh, it's not. There's no fabric. Yes, there is. Yeah. Sure. Oh, it's even weave. Yeah. Even weep. Nice. Yay. Nice. So, thank you so much, Canadian friend. Um, you know who you are. Thank yep. you. That's amazing. And why don't you show your mail call while I go get the box? Oh, okay. So, um, I had seen this Joan Elliott back before StitchCon and had admired it and pondered whether I should buy it, hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed. <laughs> And then Andrea, who came to StitchCon, brought hers, and she had been posting progress of hers. That's where I got inspired. Brought hers to StitchCon. Right. And to see this thing framed was amazing. Yeah. It was in the corner of the brag table at StitchCon, and everybody was, look at that, look at that. And um, lo and behold... You know, you just wait long enough. And uh, another floss tuber, silent stitcher, Corey. Corey, have I got yep. that right? Yep. Oh, you do. Corey 
um, posted it on one of the unload sites. I can't mm -hmm. remember which one. And uh, I was thrilled to see it for sale. Did you, so you spent money on it? Yes. Oh, then I guess it's technically not mail call then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a gift. But that's okay. fine. I don't so, care. Now you told the story. So, so now this, there's a story. So mm -hmm. I did pay for this. I did oh, okay. pay Corey for it. Sorry. I put um, it in the and room. I'm thrilled to have it. So thank you, Corey. Oh, so um, pretty. And so I, pretty. I'm going to have to check with either Corey or Andrea to get fabric recommendations. Yeah. But I love her. I've seen people um, not do the clock in the background. But I love the clock. I was going to say, do the clock because I like it. Yeah, I love the clock. Because it's all about so, me. So, I'm glad to have that. Sorry, it's not mail call. It's... Um, that was my bad. I put it in the wrong place in the pile. She didn't realize that I actually paid Corey money. Oops. So, anyway. Whatevs. Don't matter. Um, so, that's that. That's cool. Okay. So, you... Okay, let's do this. We love Canadians. It's the thing that we do. We love all the Canadians. So, and the Canadians, they love us too. <laughs> uh, well, yes. So, <coughs> um, I, let me unpack this box. So, we came, it's like Friday is like the prime mail day. It's like legit good mail day. So, we came home on Friday uh, to a little bit of mail, including... <clears throat> This box from Canada. <laughs> so, uh, and this it was from. <laughs> um, it's, it's you say that Marissa, right? Yeah, Marissa. Yeah, Marissa. Yeah. Um, Who is toil, toil, toil or twile? I'm not sure. Twile and not on Instagram. On Instagram. Yes. Marissa. So she sent this beautiful card. I love this color palette. She had alerted me a while ago that she was kind of destashing some fabric. Mm -hmm. And would I be interested in any pieces? And I let her know that I would. Yeah. Whatever she was willing to give up. Right. And life got in the way. And some time went by. And, you know, I, oh, was I wasn't sitting by the door. But then right. she... Then she messaged me with the uh, box sitting on the postal scale at the post office in Canada, and right. it was it was coming on our way. way. It was on its way, so that was great. So that's awesome. So she sent us two humongous pieces of fabric, and then two little kind of smaller pieces of fabric. The two, um, Marissa, if you have names for these, and if um, I think the back when like you and mom talked about what you were going to send us, maybe you gave her counts and names and, but I don't know what they are. It's not a big deal. But like, that'd be cool if I could deal. label it. Yeah. Um, and so these first two are the same. Um, and they are this beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It's like a aqua marine yeah. light green exactly with some white modeling got two pieces there. of that nice size yep and maybe if i fold it you'll get the color a little bit better yeah yeah so it's not as pale as it's looking in the camera yeah um mint and, green yeah mint thank you that's the color mint green and we got two pieces of that yep so same size on those and then the first big old piece of fabric big Huge, huge. It reminds me of winter sunsets. Yes, like from under the sea fabrics. Yes, but it's got to be a yard, if not more. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. Watch I mean, this. We can hang it from the flagpole. I'm just saying. Ugh, look at that. Is that yummy? <gasps> oh. Hello, Fluster. Oh. You sound so frightened. No, it's just so awesome. It's so cool. So it's got purple and pink and white and look at us just draping ourselves in it. Now we're gonna wear it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make togas out of it. Cross stitch draping. <laughs> I hope I hope YouTube gets that as a friggin' screenshot. Um, because it's just so yummy. Hey, stop! Don't touch it all the time. Okay, so that's a little bit more manageable. <laughs> nice face, fam. Look at that. It's so beautiful. There's so many possibilities. This so just, many. Just abounds. The abounds. Poss the possibilities are just so yeah so endless with that. It's beautiful, all the things. Yes. Um, it's when we first, um, you're going to have to refold that at some point. Um, we first unfolded it. I was like, it just keeps going. Okay. And then, then wait for this. 
So this is by far our favorite piece. It's the same exact size, so I'm not going to go crazy. And yeah, don't it. open it all up, but you'll get the idea. We, oh, wait a minute. That's, is that doing it justice? No, not really. Wait a minute. Do and this is like a, one this more is fold. a 32, I think, count Lugana. No, Joblin. Yeah, Joblin. Oh, my God. It looks like summer sky, Joblin, but like the blue is richer. Yes. And I like it. It's so huge. It's so huge. Like, it folds out four more time, times. I think it's a yard. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. But it's frigging stunning. And we already have ideas for it. Yep, like, yep, we yep. already know what we're going to do. Yep, it's yep, going to yep. be wonderful. Yep. All the things. But that's not all. No. So, she, she said, said yep. this yep. pattern. Yep. Come on. Um, pattern is the word. It's from Dragon Dreams, mm -hmm. and uh, when we um, show our wall behind us in a little bit, mm -hmm. you'll see um, Dragon Dreams did not just do dragons. Right. Um, they did this wonderful pattern called Sentinel of Sea and Sky, and it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yep. Lovely. Cute. Very cute. Lovely. Very cute. And, and then... Then... We got... You know what this means. Boxes from Starbuckles. Starbuckles. That's a mean one joke. Do you have to open it this way? You have to open it. From We've top. opened it and closed it already. Yeah. Um, but we Who's going to model? We got matching mugs. Who's going to model? Let's hold them up together. Okay. Look. Oh my God. Stop. Why are you I am it very up? thrilled to have one of these. I'm thrilled to have one too. Yes. Because this so is awesome sauce. So cool. This the colors are everything. is beautiful. And you can see Marissa. No oh, nicks, no is. scratches, no breaks. Oh, Handle's still on. Peace. Travel great. So yep. you've got the maple leaf. Yep. And the Parliament building, yes. Yep. See, we know these now since I did my Canada sample. Yep, and the uh, elk. Yep. And the cowboy hat. So well, cool. Well, that's the, that's the uh, Mountie hat. Whatever. Mountie cowboy, it's all the same. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Marissa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This was so cool. So cool. So we'll probably keep one in the box and one on the shelf. Um, because we're on a spray. I, I drink coffee. I have coffee in the morning every morning. And I eat my ice cream out of mugs. And she eats ice cream out of a mug. So, so don't hate. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. She think it wasn't going to go back in the box. Well, I, I had it going oh, okay. which way. Okay. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a yes. wonderful, wonderful box. Thank you so and much. And we uh, really, really do appreciate it. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. <clears throat> Next, um, talk about what you got from Teresa. Oh, Teresa. Not Teresa, who are you thinking? We, there are a lot of Teresas, but the Teresa that I'm uh, calling out is Teresa Alber. Yep. From Diddly Daddle Designs. Mm -hmm. uh, we've uh, talked about her before. We're going to talk about her again because the discount code is still good. She makes lovely project bags. There's her business card. Mm -hmm. All the information for this, including the coupon code, which is just keep stitching, all one word, all capital letters. You get 15% off of your purchase. All that info will be listed below, including links to her shop, so you can go check out her stuff. Also, follow her on Instagram of the same name, Diddly Daddle Designs, um, and turn on your notifications for when she posts new pictures so you can see the cute new fabric that she puts up on her shop almost daily. Yes. So anyway, that's our so, little promo for uh, Diddly Daddle. I posted on Instagram <laughs> a little over, about a, two weeks ago maybe, week and a half, ten days, uh, that um, Jan, our finisher at Keepsakes, had alerted me to a fabric store in Cincinnati in the Fairfield suburb, and they were getting rid of their Civil War fabrics, and they were going for $5 a yard. So um, one day when Stephanie was working, I tootled on over to Fairfield and went to this fabric store, and I had, um, I had a ball, but I limited it to four yards four different yards so i spent like 20 bucks no big deal right. and um got four different uh 
uh, fabrics from the Civil War fabric that they are discontinuing. Right. And um, Teresa saw my Instagram post, and she offered to make a project bag in her style, which we love, mm -hmm. um, out of one of the fabrics. She said, just send it to me. I'll make you a project bag. I think I have lining material in my stash, and I really want to do this for you, Pam. So you just sent her the outside fabric. She had the inside correct. fabric. Correct. Right? Okay. Correct. So then I laid all the, you know, the pieces out, and I was just like, oh, and now i got to pick which one would make a really yeah. striking project bag. So I chose the red print, and she made her style project bag. So if you haven't seen Diddly Daddle, um, one of the unique things, first of all, I'm going to show off the fabric, so isn't that the coolest so can thing? Can I ask a dumb question? What? What makes it Civil War fabric? It's a it's a replica of the kinds of fabrics that were used during the Civil War era. Oh. So it's 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 uh, vintage from its period. Right. It's will. not from then though. It's a replica. It's yeah. It's like it's, this fabric didn't exist in 1865. Is what no, I'm asking. No, no. Don't make me feel so no. much. Worse okay. Me. So then she found lovely gold. Look at that. So pretty. Gold lining material. There's her little label that she always puts mm -hmm. in the inside. She always makes a zipper pull that is distinctive mm -hmm. with ribbon and look, she, it's covered buttons and she... And the brown zipper. Oh and the God. brown zipper. I mean, seriously, so this is, this is really, it's good. So cute. It's great quality and it's reasonably priced. Yes. And thank you, Teresa. Just love it. So Just cute. love it. Yes. Um, both sides. Yep. And she has some of her kinds of bags. They look like this, so it's all the one print. But some of them have a different print, like on the right. bottom third or whatever. Right. Um, they're both extremely well made, and they're awesome. And besides sending back the remainder of the fabric, which mm -hmm. actually is quite a lot, it's quite a lot, and I will probably end up giving it to Jan to make some kind of oh, yeah, pouch yeah. or project. Oh, that's a good idea. Like a notion thing to go with this. Yeah. And, um, of course, you know, Stephanie had gotten the... Um, the Halloween cat bag. The Halloween with the pumpkin hat bag. Was cat. that last week? Two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So she went ahead and made... Um, needle minders. Needle minders. Out of... Which way am I turning this? Nope. Nope. This way. Yep. Because there he that. is with his hat on. Look yeah, at that. there he is with his pumpkin hat. And the pumpkin. So those for Steph, and she made needle minders mm -hmm. of the fabric. So they're fabric covered. Like, for freaking stop yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so this, cute. This is our preferred style of needle minder. Yes. We love it, Teresa. So. Um, so thank you, ma'am. Remember, Diddly Daddle Designs on Etsy. Mm -hmm. Check, uh, follow her on Etsy. Uh, Instagram so that you see what's on the cutting table yep. and she does do custom orders as well so well, this if, was a custom order exactly so yep. um, if you have fabric that you want a project bag from you can ship it to her she will make it for you in whatever size whatever you want um, quick yeah super quick and she makes and different size bags she also makes um, Q snap covers or grind guards whatever. Yep, you can have a whole matching a whole matching set you so know. contact her get in touch with her she's great at communicating she's awesome to work with she's incredibly talented and you get 15% off until the end of September so right. and she um, why not yeah and it? so it's Treat yeah yourself. just keep stitching all one word no G on the end for 15% right. off until Treat the end yourself. of September are we repeating ourselves? Maybe. Probably. Yes. Okay. The okay. rest of my haul? Yes. Haul. Okay. Yep. Um, you all know I'm doing Take Me Out to the Ball Game by Little House. Yep. Um, saw this at the shop. Had to get it. It's called Batter Up. And gotta get this. More bunting. Love the bat. There's something about that bat that I love. Oh, really? That's funny. What's um, the two people who are down the bottom? Doing? They are, um... Are they juggling? Or they what's are happening? juggling baseballs. They're little oh. barbershop guys juggling baseballs. Of course they are. Oh, I love this. This That's is cute. just adorable. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I got that. Uh, they got this in the shop, yeah. too. This is Annie B's folk art. Do you mm -hmm. like Annie B's? Oh, my God. Annie Belcher. This is... Pretty new. Yeah, um, um, Amy loves toadstool shit, actually, I think. Oh, yeah? I yeah, love it. Because it's got frogs thing. all over it, duh. 
Oh yeah. Oh, come on this now. This is so cute. Come this on is now. the frog motto. This is the frog. Look at the colors on that. Mm -hmm. I just love that. Back it up just a little. And then <laughs> close up. Two needles, two frogs, two pairs of scissors, five spools of thread. Lynette, look at that symmetry, Lynette. Yeah, Lynette, symmetry. Symmetry. Okay. Okay. So I picked that up at the shop. Okay. 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 For Christmas, so I love her Christmas elves and Damn, Santas dude, and look stuff. Look at all the instructions on the back. Holy hell! Well, that's, that's because you're put put it, putting it on the basket. I'm gotcha. not trying to put it on the basket. Right. Um, pick these up uh, on Etsy from Thread Work Primitives. Um, I've seen lots of people stitching this one. This is called Beggar's Fourth. Love, love, love. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know me. It's got a whale on it. Right. Uh, you all say all, put a bird on it. We put, yeah, we put, we, we put, we put whales, whales on, on it. stuff. Mm -hmm. So, all-American fin. Oh, I like how that's finished on the... What is that called? Oh, the... Um, the horn book. Um, horn book. Uh, it's mounted on a horn so book. Cute. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness Are those gracious. specialty stitches up in that flag? Oh, no. I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, so I got cute. two new thread work primitives. We love them on yep. Etsy. All right. Let's and, see my uh, hole. Oh, no. Go. Oh, sorry, I and, didn't see that. Um, we love Twin Peak primitives also on Etsy, mm -hmm. and um, they've got a new one that's also nautical and also has a whale, mm -hmm. um, Lighthouse Keeper. So And it, it's got a um, Ocracoke Island uh, up at the top. Um, I will probably substitute something oh that's... Oh my gosh, will you make it Portland headlight and then make the roof red? We'll see. That would but be so cute. Gotta love thread work. I mean, gotta love uh, Twin Peak Primitives. Yep. Absolutely. All right. So, want to see my haul? Yeah. So, uh, in 11 days, we are starting the Things Unseen um, Stitch Along, which I'm going to stitch along with you, Christine. I'm not going to let... I'm not going to get ahead or let you get ahead. Okay. I might fall behind, but that's fine. Okay, so um, I got the patterns from Keepsakes. I got um, the threads from Keepsakes and my thread conversion. Again, thank you for all of, of you wonderful, supportive people who have told, wanted the same conversion. And then the last thing I needed was the um, embellishment pack. So I uh, called around to a few LNSs. Um, Keepsakes doesn't have any more charts or embellishment packs or anything. Um, and, uh, I called three LNSs and finally hit the jackpot at none other than acorns and threads. And, uh, I got their last things unseen embellishment pack. So it's really hard to not have this in the, the pattern, right? So like if it was just like a couple little buttons then I might be able to like make do, but yeah. So I know one, two, three stitches out of them right now. Um, I don't know Abco, um, just another button company. I don't know. Um, there are a couple other Ellen. Just call around. That's the best advice I can give you. If you are wanting to join in the sale and you need the charts or anything like that, um, my best recommendation is just to call around um, and see what shops have what. So, um, also if you follow me on Instagram, you can look on my, um, post about things unseen. And some people have commented on that post and said, this LNS has it, this LNS has it. I can't remember right now which ones those are, but, um, but take a look at that, um, and just pick up a phone and call. Yeah, and that's people. a fluid situation. I mean, right. even if somebody says they've got it today, they might not have it tomorrow. So. Correct. So I picked yeah. that up. Um. On Instagram, I follow a Ohio Needle Workshop, uh, and it is in Strongsville, and it's called Just Stitching. So, Pam, where's Strongsville? Strongsville is way up in northern Ohio. Oh, okay. So, they have uh, a at, uh, at, they have a Instagram account, and it is uh, Just Stitching. Um, and we like them because they're just stitching and we're just keep stitching. So yeah. it all works together. Shelly's a great gal. I was there years ago and, um, 
She's cool. the owner. So she, on her Instagram, she posts some pictures of, um, excuse me, some charts that you've seen and then are readily available. And then, some, excuse me. And then sometimes don't make that face <laughs> at me. And then um, at least I said, excuse me, like a, like a modern woman. Um, and <laughs> whatever that means. And um, sometimes she posts pictures of charts and stuff that are hard to find. And so Ooh. if you comment on the, her post, she'll say, I have five available and they're this much money and just message me or whatever. And I had never done it before, but I saw this Lizzie Kate and I was like, I have to have it. Um, and it is the Lizzie Kate's uh, Three Blocks Noel Joy Fa La La. And it's K42, and it's a limited edition kit, and she had them, so, like, stop. I obviously got that. So, that's super cute. I love that. I like how it's finished. I like all of it. So, um, it comes with fabric. I don't think that it comes with... It's, I feel like all Lizzie Kate kits don't come with uh, threads. But, oh, yeah. So, there's the... Embellishments, the buttons. Don't lose those. Those are awfully small. Well, they're in a baggie, and the baggie's going back in here. So there they go. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So check out just. It's literally called just stitching. On they they use a G. They have for years. <laughs> yes, on the end of stitching. Um, and check them out. See if you can get some good finds. It works just like stash unload kind of, where you just say me please and separate your email and yeah. It's all PayPal. It's good to go. Right. Uh, and if you are in the Strongsville area or if you want to travel there, they have a whole entire like lineup of fun events. So um, check out their website. Check out, um, pause the video here. Take a screenshot of this stuff. Um, email them. Visit them. Um, you know, yes, we love keepsakes. It's our LNS, but I support all brick and mortar. So, you know, do right. that. Um, also, uh, Teresa Kogut, uh, she has come up, come out with uh, some new patterns, um, and as you all know, I am and we are uh, big supporters of um, Crazy Annie Stitch and stuff. Sorry, I'm writing down notes so I don't forget to put them in the description box while out. Um, and so, Annie Miller was the first person to that I saw post about the new patterns. I had seen a sneak peek of this pattern on Teresa Kogut's Instagram, and I was like, when that comes out, I'm getting it. And I saw Annie first had it, so I said, me please. And it is Halloween March by Teresa Kogut. Are you dead on the floor? Look at those friggin' animals. That's amazing. I can't even. Right. Um, it is full coverage. Um, if you are familiar at all with Teresa Kogut, she does punch needles, she does, um, and cross stitch patterns, um, and I don't know if I will stitch it all full coverage. I'm thinking I'm just going to do the middle section on, like, a black or gray fabric, um, and call it a day. I don't think that I would die, I think, if I tried to do it all full coverage, but we'll see. So, there's one... It just says one overdyed. Huh? It just says that there's one weeks and the rest is DMC. Cool. That's cool. But the weeks the weeks is Onyx, which is the black. Yeah. So I would use some other yeah. fabric, whatever. What's um, that one they say is good? Mascara? Yeah, but that's just 310. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, I got two. I'm gonna, I'll show this last. Um, also, the... August 2018 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine has been released. We have a digital subscription. Um, and there's really not a whole heck of a lot in there that says anything to either of us. So, uh, but it was the Christmas ornament preview issue. Um, this is what the cover looks like. That's why I printed off the thing. If you're into samplers, this beautiful sampler is in there. So, um, you know, it's all... It's all relative, right? It's what you like, what you don't like. Um, and then there was one um, Christmas ornament that I did like. How do I do this? Okay. Do it like yep. This. So this is called Two Stars and a Stag by Blue Ribbon Designs. So it's very cute. I like the finish, all the things. Yeah. So Unfortunately, that's about the only thing that we that went all it was. Ooh, uh, over. Right. So... Oops. Yeah. Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's just like any other magazine. It's hit or miss, whatever. Um, and then I got two things from Keepsakes this week. 
Um, <coughs> this one was, um, last week I did the Long May She Wave, which was one of those charts where you got the chart for free if you bought the floss with it, and it all comes together. This was another one of those ones. So this was actually a Hoffman uh, Distributing Exclusive uh, in 2015 from Little House Needleworks, and it's called Giving Thanks. Um, my friend Jen Grimes, Spoonery Stitcher on Epic. Instagram she stitched this um, and I like it I've seen it stitched up and I contemplated stitching it for a while um, and it comes with all the threads and it's my favorite brand of thread so why wouldn't I I mean come on so uh, I got that and then I guess I'm just dead on the floor with all the Silver Creek samplers um, I don't know who it was I saw that stitched this recently but they did and it is called Stitching Feeds My Heart um, with Silver Needle and Golden Thread. I'll stitch until my heart is fed. And I love this. I am going to stitch the silver, the gold, the gold thread, the silver scissors in this over here. And gold petite treasure braid. It's going to be pretty. I'm excited about it. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they use Rainbow Gallery Gold Metallic and Rainbow Gallery Silver Metallic. Look at that. Great, Great minds. So that is all of uh, my hour haul. Yeah, that's haul. Great. Right. So um, we kind of already did a little bit of the first part of the next section. So a few weeks ago we had a promo section, um, and then we didn't have one for a few weeks, and now we're going to start having them every week. Um so, Mom mentioned it a little bit earlier, but we have always been and will continue to be fans of Twin Peak Primitives. Right. Um, they are an Etsy shop, and they are incredibly awesome. Yes. So we they, love their designs. We do. And so, they um, are twins, um, and they are in what country? The Netherlands. Yes. So, um, they actually reached out to us and asked us if, if we would be interested in uh, being an avenue to share some of their patterns, their designs with you all. Um, it benefits you, and it benefits us, because we get to share these awesome designs with you, and we get to see them, which is really early. We get an early sneak peek of them, which is fun. Right, right. Um, and then uh, we get to share them with you all. So, um, basically how it works is that every week we're going to show you a different pattern from them, and then if you go into their Etsy shop, which will be linked below, um, and you mentioned that you heard about it on this channel, then you get 5% off a digital download. So all their patterns are PDF downloads, um, which is super convenient, and it cuts down on costs a lot, which is great for you as the stitcher. Um, I think, too, that um, there's a little uh, variation in payment um, on their Etsy shop. Uh, and you website. can do uh, PayPal. If you go to their website, TwinPeakPrimitives.com, mm -hmm. you have other options for payment. Oh, okay. And if I've misspoken and Nerdin or somebody um, <laughs> corrects me, right. um, then we'll correct it next week. But right. um, easy peasy PDF download on Etsy, right. Twin Peak Primitives. We'll link it below, mm -hmm. and we will feature one of their designs every week. Yeah. So, for as long as they let us, basically. Correct. Um, so, the pattern for this week, um, it is, you know, we're round and third heading for home on the whole summer situation. Yeah. So, it is time to get ready for fall stitching. Um, I know that I'm getting excited to stitch from fall stuff and do fall things and wear sweatshirts and stuff. And that means, what's the first thing that I think of? Not necessarily going back to school. Boom. But Halloween. Halloween. So, um, this is Halloween Parade by Twin Peak Primitives, and this is what it looks like. Just adorable. So cute. I mean, you don't have to stitch the border if you don't want to, but the border's cute. Um, I mean, you could just stitch the October 30, 31st. You could just stitch the lady with the in the pumpkin wagon. Um, it's so cute. I love everything about this. Um, I love that she's a witch, but she kind of looks like a... Like a nice witch. Yeah. I got a nice switch. I mean, even if you wanted to take, like, these little star quilt motifs and make those into scissor fobs, you could. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so cute. It's so versatile. Um, we don't have a stitch count to give you, but their patterns aren't humongous. No. Um, they're not, like, big samplers. Very even. manageable. Mm -hmm. If you're a beginning stitcher, they're perfect. Yeah. 
For yeah, sure. For sure. So, so go over to Twin Peak Primitives on Etsy and uh, or directly on their website and mention us and you'll get you'll get a little uh, discount. So right, exactly. We love them. They're great people, mm -hmm. and uh, we're so happy to um, uh, help them promote their their um, their business, their charts. So yes, exactly. great. Yeah. yeah. So um, at this moment, we are going to insert a video of the right. Tour de Wall. Right. So you all have asked and we have delivered on the uh, what is all that's happening behind us. Right. And so we will insert that Hi. video. Hi. We've gotten so many questions about the wall behind us during our videos mm -hmm. that it's time for another Tour, Tour de, de Wall. wall. And summer's coming to a close, so mm -hmm. let's go out with the bang. Yes, ma'am. And Stephanie's going to hold the camera, and mm -hmm. I am going to give you the title and the designer. Mm -hmm. And we can probably put this also in the description box, too. Yeah, yeah, we could. Okay, because mm -hmm. it's all typed up. For so. sure. All right. All so right. Here we go. All right. All right. We're going to start with this one up at the very top. Right. This is called Spring Point Light, as it says. This was a whole series of charts by Seguin Designs, and she was up in Maine, and she no longer uh, designs, but there's quite a collection of these. And uh, this was in my mother's condo for quite some time, and obviously, uh, when she passed away, a lot of things I gave her came back to me. Yay. All right, moving down the wall. Okay, this uh, obviously, was a kit because that's a pre-printed mat yes, and I did this for my dad because he loved to fish and I'm searching for the title oh here we go uh, it was from dimensions and they had a whole series called matted accents matted accents and this was just known as fisherman's vision Very but cool. it was really fun to stitch stitched it a long time ago looks like it probably was quick too yeah. All right. I like the colors in it. Moving down the wall some more. All right. So this one is... That one's a summer place. Sorry, this one, we got glass on them, so I'm trying to do it this way so you don't get too much glare. But it's a summer place by... Cricket Collection. Beautiful. So you'll notice also, I love this frame. It's just awesome. Um, but see this right here? That is the sailboat that mom used on Beachy Mood from also from Cricket, which you'll see in a minute. All right. But I love this and I love this frame. So the the words say, here is the promise of summers to be. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yep. Okay. You're going to go up? Yep. Alrighty. Okay. I had to do a little research on this, but I found it. This uh, is probably one of four seasons, I'm guessing. And it was from M Designs, and this one's called Sunny Summer. It wasn't a kit, was it? No. Okay. No. Well, you got a charm, and you got that gingham. Maybe it was. I don't remember. I don't know, but it's cute. You'd have to On look a it up. kind of plainer frame, but it's cute. I yeah, because like you have the gingham, so you don't need anything right. heavy. Right. Fancy. Is it glassed? Yes. Yep, it is. Okay. All right, next. Okay, this one's called Voyage Home. It's another cross-eyed crooked. And it says, all voyages are homeward bound. And it's a Herman Melville quote. Right. And look at that variegation. And the mermaid. Sorry for the glare. But whatever, it's glass, so deal. And those houses, look at those houses. Awesome. Awesome. All right, and going up. up. Yep. Okay, this one is called Shoreline, and it's by Henzite. Yep. So I'll do a little zooming in action here. That was a fun stitch. It looks like it'd be fun to stitch. What do you call those birds? Seagulls? No. Oh, egrets? No. Oh, um, um, um. Nut? No. no. Shoot. You'll know. Somebody comment below. Thank you. What do you call those birds? Yeah. Okay. Next down. Okay. This is the newest one on the wall. This is my beachy mood that I did a sell with Cheryl Conley. Hi, Cheryl. And she put a lobster on top of the E, and I took that sailboat from a summer place. See? And same sailboat. Hope you aren't dizzy. I hope you are. 
Look at that. That is a seagull. Yeah. And all the buttons. Oh, my God. Sandpiper. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Sandpiper from Shoreline. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next. Okay. This took some research. So Did it? you better write this down if you're interested. You can't find it if you look up Lighthouse. You can't find it if you look up Sentinel. This is a Stony Creek booklet. Wow. And the title of the booklet is Landmarks of the Waterways. There are probably six or eight different designs in the booklet. Stony Creek, you see all the back stitching mm -hmm. on the gingerbread on the house. This is Cape Elizabeth Light, of course, in Cape Elizabeth, Maine. So pretty. You've had this done for a minute. Yes, I have. That's one of my favorites. Have me to too, Pam. Me too. Okay. Next. I've had a lot of questions about this one. This is from a leisure arts booklet called Sea Life. And it's just a sailboat. But it had to come with that fabric because if you look, the fabric is blue around the edges and then white in the middle. I don't know. I don't remember. It was oh, done Pam. so long ago. Sorry. So, that does not have glass on it. No, it does not. Okay. And then are we going to do that one today? No. Okay. So the last one is... Yep. And we told you that Dragon Dreams didn't just do dragons. Right. This is called A Castle by the Sea by Dragon Dreams. Kind of juvenile in the sense that it looks kind of meant for a little kid's bathroom. But, but it's so cute. Super cute. There's some metallics in there. Oh, there is? Where? Yep. In oh, the in the... In the stars and in the... Yeah. Uh, in the fishies. In the starfish. And in these fishies, too. Yep. Look at that. So there you go, folks. All right, that's let me our, back up and show you the whole thing. That's our summer tour to wall that we've been sitting in front of. All summer long. All summer long. Yep. So we hope you liked it. We're happy to share it with you all. Send you back to our regularly scheduled programming. Bye. And hi. Welcome back. How yeah. do you like it? Isn't right. it funny? Anybody that makes videos knows that that's always kind of weird when you're like, yeah. bye, but you're not really buying. It's like weird. Yeah. Okay, so, and then last thing is our plants. What does this mean? It means that Tuesday, we are, um, Barbara gave me and Pam and Nicole and Lenny. Oh, and that's Sue, right. Yeah, the entire crew of us for, on the Stitch Con Committee, she gave all of us gift cards to go get pedicures together. Somehow, by it, the stars aligned and all of our schedules worked out and we were able to to all make Sunday or Tuesday evening work and we're all going together. Me and Pam, Barbara, Lenny, Sue Hillis, and Nicole. It's pedicure night. It's a pedicure party. It is. So um, I'm excited. So that's what's coming up on Tuesday. I got my nails done on Thursday. Yeah. And I'm probably going to get the same color on my toes. So that's happening. Anyway, so that's happening on Tuesday. Then on Friday, we are going to re- Visit Crock-Pot Friday. Yes. I know you've missed it. We have to. And we've all been busy. Mm. Crystal's gone to Maine, for crying out loud. Yeah. And we need Stitch to hear Con all about happened. that. Then there was StitchCon and holy moly. So, yeah, all the things. Friday, the the old gang's getting together again. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have awesome. Crock-Pot Friday at our house. Mm -hmm. Per so, usual. look for some pictures of that mm -hmm. next week. Yep. And, um... That's what's I happening. Think that's pretty much it. Holy moly. So that's pretty um, good only. I mean with the yeah. to video it'll Yeah, you had the tour de wall. Right. And uh you're all caught up. You're Isn't that great? You're all caught up with Lucky us. You. Yeah. So um until next time. Yeah. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.